Welcome to another video and we're here at JFK International Airport and join us on this video we're going to take you uh, from Terminal 5 here at JFK into Manhattan 49th Street using the air train and the subway. So the first thing to do is to come out onto the street and follow the signs for the air train which is going to be across the street here and then there's going to be an elevator. As you can see, the air train is clearly signed straight on. So if you gain a taxi here in New York, it's probably going to cost you about $100 plus the tip. And I'm guessing an Uber is probably going to be very, very similar. So this is going to be a much cheaper way. It's the air train cost, which we'll show you in a minute, and then $2.75 on the subway but we're going to use the seven day pass $33 so we're going to go left into the terminal building here we're going to take level three to the air train okay so this is the air train station we're going to get the air train to Jamaica So they'll either go to Howard Beach, for which you can get the A train into Manhattan, or Jamaica, for which we're going to get the E train into Manhattan. So we're going to get on the Jamaica train. Now when you board the air train here, it is completely free until you actually exit at the Jamaica station. So this is going to take us around the JFK airport first of all. terminal that's arriving at is British Airways and then American. So the next stop is Federal Circle which is for the car rentals and then the stop after that will be Jamaica which we're going to get the E-Train into Manhattan. So we're arriving at Federal Circle and you can see all the car rental facilities here. So uh, all these are going to be rental cars. So certainly don't be frightened of taking the air train and the subway into New York City. It's definitely the cheapest way, the easiest way, and fairly quick. Probably going to take us about one hour to get from uh, JFK down into 49th Street. And there's a great view there of the city of New York. So we're currently in the suburb of Queens, New York. As you can see, it clearly says the next stop is uh, Jamaica Station. So today is a beautiful day here in New York City. And there's Glenn getting ready to uh, get off at Jamaica Station, which is the next one here, very, very short. And as you can see, there's plenty of room on the air train. Lots of room for your luggage. And we're now just turning into Jamaica Station. So from Jamaica, you can actually get the Long Island Railroad uh, into Penn Station. I think that's, uh, I'm not too sure of the actual cost. It's probably about $9 plus. That'd get you into Penn Station pretty quick. But uh, that's down at 34th Street. We want to be at 49th, so we're going to get the subway. And here we go, Jamaica Station. Okay, so we're going to follow the signs. And what we're going to need to do in a minute is purchase tickets for the air train. So the air train exit fee is $8.25. And you can use just the one card to get many people through. So just load the X amount of dollars on that you'll need to actually get through. Okay, so we're going to pay cash, 
I'm going to need to put another dollar in there as well. And there we go, we've got $20.75 on there. Let's put the ticket through here. It's pretty busy, it looks like there's a lot of people not sure what they're doing here. Uh, we've got a green here. So I'm going to put it down and then hand it back to Glenn. And then Glenn. Right, so we're now going to make his way to the uh, subway and the E-train. So there are various ways that you can get out. We normally go to the left down here and the elevator the far, far way up. A little bit quieter. So if you follow the signs for the Long Island Railroad, and just go to the very far end and there will be some elevators. So you can see right at the very end here it says the subway E, J and Z. So we're going to take the E train into Manhattan. So we're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to use the Apple Watch and what it will do, it will take $2.75 each time until it gets to $33 and $33 it will stop, so that's the weekly pass. So we need to take this elevator right to the bottom floor. And as you can see, it's clearly marked to subway E-train. Okay, so this is the level for the subway. And clearly marked subway E. Pretty busy here as well. So you can either purchase a Metro card, put $33 on it, or just use your debit or credit card. Okay, so we're going to take the subway to the E-train. I'm just going to get my watch ready. We've got to go. And we are through. So if you take the staircase next, straight down and we'll get the E-train. Okay, so we are gonna get, here we go, the E-train into uh, Manhattan. So we're probably going to make a change at Queen's Plaza. And that will be then one of the trains to 49th Street. So far, pretty easy. So we're now on the, the train and uh, this is actually an express train, so uh, it's going to zip through quite a few of the local stations. Fairly quiet on the train today. Not many about. So I hope you're enjoying the video today, just showing you how easy it is to get from JFK into Manhattan. And again, we're probably going to change it to uh, Queen's Plaza, and we will look to get the R train to 49th Street. 49th Street, where we're staying, is pretty much Times Square. Uh, it's one block from 7th Avenue. Clearly tells you all the stops here. So this one's Jamaica Van Wyck. So Briarswood is the next one. Clearly shows you up at the top of the train all the stops. So Queen's Plaza that we're going to get off is probably about five stops. Okay, so we're going to get off at Queen's Plaza and we're going to change to the R train. So make his way across to the other way, to the side of the platform. And this is the R train. And we just made it onto the R train now. So we're going to get off at 49th Street. Okay, so we're almost there. Next stop is 59th Street and 57th, and then 40 times coming up to 7.04pm. We're about 45 minutes into the journey now. So 
So this is Fifth Avenue, home to Central Park. Okay, so here we go. Next stop is 49th Street. And it's good to hear the stand clear of the closing door. And here we go. So this is our stop, 49th Street. So again, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. We are now in Manhattan, Times Square. So it is really simple to get uh, on the subway from JFK. So we're going to exit this stairwell and we are about to get an amazing view of Times Square. And we can see the skyscrapers already. Okay, and we're here right in the heart of Times Square. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful to get from JFK into Manhattan, give me a thumbs up, drop me some comments, and subscribe to the channel.